Okay guys, so we just went to my house and did the last walkthrough before you close. So now we're driving to the Registry of Deeds and I'm gonna sign a bunch of papers and like make the house official. So, oh my God, it's so weird. Oh, you can come here, okay. Thank you. I don't know where it is, do you know where it is? Okay, here's her banker. Say hi, Malika. Hi. Here she is signing her life away. Her favorite attorney, David. We're out to celebrate. Yay. So, such a weird feeling. So proud of my kid. Thanks, mom. I have a drink here I've never tried before. This is the rose strawberry sangria. Is it good? Ooh, yeah, do you want to try some? Ooh, I love. Isn't delish? Yes. It's the first time in the pool. What a thrilling time. What that fence the fence is just so funny. <laughs> Good. She's gonna think it's too cold. It's not 80. <laughs> Water bug. Guys, FYI, that thing is eight feet deep. I don't know about diving head first. No. Does that sound kind of shallow for a head it's first? Not for though? diving, are they? Mm. Diving no, I don't dive. No. I don't dive. Is it too cold? I, it feels fine to me, but. Are you going to go in all the way? Probably not under? No. You have to go under. We're just going to go home. It's okay if your makeup gets wrecked. Okay. For real? Yeah, I should. You have to. I should go under. Are you gonna jump? Yes. Well, I'm proud of you. Whose phone? Mine. Oh, Ooh, your camera's it. kind of fire though. Yeah, I didn't know, but like this guy I'm talking to taught me how to turn up the quality and it's like a thing. Whoa. You can shoot on 4K from the other way. What does that mean? 4K is like the highest <laughs> quality video right now. It's hey, like, he's ready. Okay, oh wait. Want, oh, do it with me. Me? You want to do a video? Oh, that would be cute, all right. <laughs> I'll do it. Should I plug my nose? I'm gonna. Okay. You mark it, set, go. <laughs> Moving, day. Moving day number 4,000 where she's been with me. I'm helping her ever again. <laughs> <laughs> like, like literally after this, like it's over, I'm canceled. She has helped me move. I don't even know how many times. <laughs> we used to have like, um, we used to call us the women warrior movers, right? Yep. You, me, and Alexis, Alexis <laughs> we would rent a U-Haul. This is like... I got to drive the U-Haul. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did a good job. So um, I did hire movers for this move just because there was so much stuff. So, like, it's pretty much empty. Oh, my God. Back when we had weeks. Back when we did it. How life has changed. Life has changed. Like, everything. The movers just took everything out pretty much. There's a couple of miscellaneous things. And then Gabby and I are going to... Put all this stuff in the car and like bring down the trash but it's so crazy to like see it empty i feel like i just moved in here like last month <laughs> yeah i don't know it's only been a year here for a while yeah not, not even here i liked this apartment i really did like this apartment, this a good apartment. yeah this a good apartment. honestly this was like this was like the apartment when we like changed that's, no, 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 like you're so, th that's why I feel the like. The two of us changed though, like you moved yeah. in here and like we both changed. I do feel like this apartment holds a lot of significant life-changing pivotal moments for both of us. Because I feel like you're like, you're already my mom, but like now you're moving to this house and like, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm officially your mom. You can't not go out now, you started going, you just started going out. Wait, what? <laughs> you can't not go out now because you're moving into your house, you just started going out. I was kidding. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> I'm joking, she was like. Oh, so, the movers like, just left. Gabby wants to christen the house with a somersault. <laughs> so I'm letting it happen. You know, it's what we do. <laughs> I'm afraid. It's been a long time since I did a somersault. I'm actually scared. I don't know what prompted you to want to do this. I don't know what it feels like. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm nervous. Are you going to, like, what if you, like, break your neck? I'm scared. Don't. Uh... Okay, I'll do something else. <laughs> Hold on. You're insane. I got this. Ready? <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is this? Yes. Okay, so my mom and I are at my grandma's now, and we see a red cardinal. Ooh, there it is. And my mom tells me that it's um, a sign of good luck or something. It has symbolism and meaning. All right. Oh. 
Symbolism, symbolism of birds is wide, inspiring, and rich from ancient human empires in societies to modern days. Birds have been symbols of freedom, wisdom, and higher knowledge. Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, tell me about this bird, though. So it says here one of the first and most obvious qualities about the cardinal is the bright red color. He has a powerful visual presence. Now, for Christians, cardinal red is the color symbolic of the blood of Christ who died to give us everlasting life. The highest priests in the Roman Catholic Church are car called cardinals. Okay. Red is worn on the day of Pentecost. Red is symbolic of steadfast faith. Now, have you ever listened to a cardinal call out? It is loud and clear and sounds like it is saying, cheer cheer does it really yes Aww. okay this lady says i'm personally one who believes in the significance of seeing a cardinal if you believe as i do that the cardinal is a winged messenger then the next time you see one who is insisting on getting your attention oh, he left. i think it was because it stuck around it was for there while. for a few minutes so one who is insisting on getting your attention ask yourself what or who you were thinking about at that moment Maybe you were feeling down and lonely, or perhaps the day marked a special occasion. Oh! Or maybe you just needed to feel someone's presence. Oh, that's cute. Okay, guys, it is now, what day is it? I'm so confused, it's Wednesday. Oh, Here with my grandma. $29. Is that good or bad? I don't know, I never bought them. So you don't know if it's good or bad. Because I have a few spots I need to fill, and I love hydrangeas. Let's just do it, you know? They're annuals, right? The, I mean, they come up every year. I thought annuals come up every year. I am so confused with gardening terms. Okay. Have I have a lot to learn. Oh, they're so pretty. I'm such a sucker for hydrangeas. They're so gorge. We also are here to buy an air conditioner at ye old Walmart. My pretty plants. That's kind of hilarious. Just mine is not on sale. They're so gorge though. All right. The air conditioners. I'm buying my first shovel. No, be in it. I love when you're in it. You're so cute. <laughs> Mimi picked out my first shovel. Like, I'm officially a homeowner because I bought a shovel and flowers. Cool. <laughs> I love being a grown up. It's so Guys, my patio furniture just came. It's from West Elm. Meme, do you want to come sit on it too? Feel it? She's so pretty. All right. No, I just tucked it. Or should I take? Should we cut it off? Actually, they have it going the wrong way. That's the zipper. It should be in the back. Oh. Damn, it's hot, y'all. Today's like 90 and humid. Do you know why they put these tags on here? Why? I heard it on a radio show once. Why? Because back in the old days, there was like no regulations and people would just stuff them with anything <gasps> they found. What? Like like old rags, old newspapers. Like really? Stuff that had mouse turds in it. Like, yeah, it was not regulated. Oh my God. Yeah. Is it comfy? You like it? Yeah. Gotta clean that energy. It smells like dope. <laughs> it doesn't smell like dope. It's sage, Irene. You gotta sage the doors. Gotta sage the energy. <laughs> Making fun of me, my sage. Sage the energy. Guys, we need, I wish we should have filmed it. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm choking right now. So, my sage stick started taking up real smoke. Nice sage stick. I've had that sage stick for a while until I moved. <laughs> and it just set off all the fire alarms and we couldn't all get them of off. That. There's a fire. That's what the fire alarms are. Did you are. Say evacuate? I might have said evacuate fire. Mm. Oh my god. And there's that one still chirping. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And now it's like smoky in here. 
and my grandma is cracking up because of me just burning sand. <laughs> oh, the alarms go off. Oh my god. Like, I don't know if you, you can't really tell on camera, but it's like smoky. <laughs> so we're now we're just unpacking the kitchen, getting that done. Fire! <laughs> so I want to tell you guys a story about my grandmother that just shows how frugal she is and a lesson she that I need to learn. She grew up during the depression, so no, let's she just... Said I was born during she was, uh, excuse me, she's always like, no, I didn't, I was born during... Bitch, you were still. You were born in 1938, the depression didn't... World War II didn't end until what? 1942? 44. 44. So girl, come on. Mimi and I are at Walmart, good old me. So we bought our plants and then we were going back to the car after and she, there's like a bunch of trash on the ground. Are you She's, filming you or me right now? You. Don't film me, I have, look at me, I'm a mess. You look normal. Okay, so anyway. There's a bunch of stuff everywhere and she's like, why do people litter and leave trash? It's so rude. And then she sees like a jug kind of thing, kind of something like with a windshield wiper fluid or whatever. She goes, what is that? And she walks over to it, picks it up and she goes, and I, I just see her little body carrying it over to the car. Yeah, she weighs like 90 pounds and she's five feet tall. And she's just, she has it in her hand. She's like, we can use this for the soil for the plants. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Like, that's just so amazing. Like, Is she gonna mix up the uh, fertilizer in it? Yes, I think that's you plant food girl. and water. You go, Save the planet one job <coughs> at a time. That's what I said. Yes. Okay, so I searched high and low for the perfect gift for my daughter. And I think I nailed it. I'm so I'm so just excited. gonna open it now and I'm like. This is my housewarming gift, I'm so excited. Housewarming! Come on, Mimi! It's a box in a box. Move back toward the door a little more so I can see you. Perfect, okay. Box in a box. It's a retro, and it's from Joanna oh, Gaines Magnolia. I just oh, said Magnolia. It's beautiful. No, and it has legs, oh, so it should be about that height. That will look so. Yeah, no one wants a freaking cooler on the ground. That's stupid. That's gonna look so cute tonight. Do you like the color though? I thought it was gonna be a little more turquoisey. No, I like because that's what I wanted to do. Pops and green, like okay. tropical. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. You're oh, welcome. I'm excited. It'll be so much fun to just like. Fill it up with Fill it with drinks. ice and then throw some drinks in it. Let's set it up. So then you'll always have your Diet Coke handy. Oh, I like that. It's, it's really cool. It's so my style. It's like Joanna Gaines, so I said I know she'll like it. Yay! Thank Yay. you. Yay! We'll put it together and show them later. Yes. Okay. Yay! Bye! Bye! Vlog content. <laughs> this is going to be a lit vlog. I've been vlogging a lot. We are doing some grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. Just picking up some stuff from my house. My mom has a very bad cold, so I don't know how much more you'll see of her in this vlog. Sweet potato fries. Really good, you should get these. They're good? Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, guys, I just got home from the grocery store, Trader Joe's with Gabby. So I thought I would do just a little grocery haul. Since I'm gonna be putting it away anyway, I'm sure this vlog is gonna be like wildly long. So hopefully you enjoy. All right. So, I got stuff, oh, I forgot to get almond milk, whatever. Um, I wanted to, oh, this is, I thought this was frozen fruit. This is orange chicken. Gabby said that this is really good orange chicken. And then to go with it, I got cauliflower rice. I've never tried theirs before. Um, she said the sweet potato fries are really good. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a very long time, so I got like a bunch of things that she liked. <laughs> Broccoli, I always buy frozen broccoli. I know I'm like terrible. <laughs> then I got pineapple for smoothies, more cauliflower, berries for smoothies. She said these cheese tortellini are bomb and they last like a long time. You can freeze them, I love to freeze them because I eat things, things slowly because I'm a one person. Berries. These are good chicken taquitos, they're easy to have. Um, a cauliflower pizza crust. 
some milk. Oh, I got this for my mom. She loves this popcorn while she's staying here for a few days. I got some pita chips and hummus. Some everything crackers, really good with cheese. Oh, I wanted to try these protein pancakes because I love pancakes, but like they're not really good for you in any way. Whole cashews. Got my mom some seltzer. Her fave. Also got some maple syrup for those pancakes. And I got some soy sauce. Taco seasoning, some dark chocolate. A couple bananas. Wow, oh, I got so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Raspberries. I mean, I've been just like letting my fridge like totally run out in my old apartment. Cheese. Four said tacos. Um, gorgonzola and gnocchi. I want to say, Sarah, if you're watching. I think you made those for me once at your boyfriend's apartment. They're really good. We have multiple kinds of hummus because I love hummus. I wanted to try this spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. It sounds bomb. Gabby said these turkey burgers are really good. I love a good turkey burger. I got some tortillas that are spicy for tacos. Chicken sausage. Ground turkey. Some chicken. Hi. Hi. Are you done for the night out there? Well, it's almost eight. I mean nine. It's so. dark, yeah. I'm just doing a little grocery haul. Nine o'clock. Oh, we have to watch our show. Yeah, the uh, debate. I mean, we may have 13 minutes. Mm. But I like to be quick. I know. Blueberries, <laughs> cheese. I got you some dried mango, mama. Your eggs. And bread. Oops. Oops. Some butter. Uh, some butter? Some tea. I just got like all the staples for the house. Anal butter. Anal butter. Garbanzo beans. Jelly. TJ's. Did you Caramel see all those cute little plants at TJ's in the little pots, like the ones I have in my apartment? Mm -hmm. Like you have the perfect windowsills to just like fill them up. They'd be super cute. Right? Until tomorrow. Okay guys, good morning. I'm gonna make some protein pancakes. Never had them before, so we'll see you there. All right guys, I'm gonna try my pancakes for the first time. Wow, this is like quality though, it's wild. Like these pancakes look better on camera than in real life. It's crazy. Let me see. Like just crazy. Yeah, because they it. actually look amazing. Like look life. at that quality. Are you kidding? Uh, <laughs> feels emotional about baking. Yeah. We are at Home Goods now. Mm. I love this. I wish it was white. Or something. If I didn't need it, if I needed more outside for the backyard, I would totally get this because it would flow. All right. Let's see what they have. You like the bird of paradise? The bird of paradise? Yeah, that's what these are called. The flowers. Oh, because it looks like a bird? Yes. I just like totally choked on my spit. Do you like it? Well, I do, but you have to like it. I don't think I, don't, I like it. I don't need anything in this. Now, what about that's a fun. ficus trees? Yeah, I like, I like that. Yeah. It's cute. It's fun. It's fresh. So, I got these pillows and these matching plates for the patio because... If you guys saw the furniture, I think you did. It's all gray. So I want pops of like green, tropical. My mom found some matching tropical cups. Do you want the tall or the short? Should we have both? Like two of each? <laughs> then, so far, just like some Joanna Gaines vibes. And then some bathroom storage containers. A plant here, I have the Twizzler, that's my cousin. And then here's the patio with the pillows. And then I also have these little star twinkle lights going around the outdoor. I'll show you when it gets dark at some point, but I really love how it came out. It's like really cute. Hi, Greta. Okay, I'm home from Home Goods, As you just saw, the patio furniture. I wanted to show you guys what I picked up for everything else from Home Goods as well. So 
I want like a lot of Joanna Gaines vibes. <laughs> Country, chic meets modern, you know what I mean? So that's gonna be for like the entryway. This is a present for someone. Then I got these for the bathroom. I want the bathroom upstairs to be kind of like blues, um, like that bluish green kind of sea foamy color. And then I got this to match it in the bathroom as well. It's like the perfect matching color. And then I'm actually, I found this little small couch that I loved that's gonna get delivered tomorrow from Home Goods. And it's like peach and wood, and it's like the perfect size for the entryway because I want that to be like a cute little sitting area. So I'm like totally obsessed with it. I can't wait to show you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, I just thought this was like really cute for mail because I kind of hate <laughs> mail and like sorting through mail. But so far, the house just feels like wicked cozy and good and good vibes. Oh my God, I don't think I, did I tell you yesterday that when I saged the house, I set the fire alarm off and we couldn't get it off. The rest of the home good stuff I bought is for the entryway. So when I have that set up tomorrow, I'll show you. I will let you guys know, I have not been on my swing set at all yet. I don't even think I've walked that far back and I own this house and Gabby is my child on the swing. Are you actually gonna do the monkey bars? Oh my. Happy Friday. My mom, my mom, my grandma and I just planted the hydrangeas from Walmart. Whew, I'm sweating. This is, this is labor intensive, but you know what? It feels good to plant some plants, you know? I don't know if you can see the sweat. It's pretty gross. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you as a little sneak peek, the front entryway. I mentioned yesterday that I got this at Home Goods, and it's set up now, so I thought I would show you. I'm not gonna show you anything else because I wanna wait till the house tour. The rest of my furniture is coming next week, so that will be going up very soon. So over in this little corner, this is from, I've had this for a while. I wanna say that's from Home Goods from like a year or so ago. Just like some flowers, a little home sweet home moment. And then I love how over here looks. Like, just so cute. I bought these last year at Home Goods as well. And I just think this ties in really well with those and like the colors. So I'm gonna have my little clock over there. So totally love. That's how this is looking. You guys have already kind of like seen all of this, but yeah, it's coming along. All right, oof. That's how you look after it's 90 degrees humid. You garden with a maxi dress on. A full blown maxi dress. Cause I can't find, I can't find any of my other clothes. Cause I haven't done my closet at all yet. I haven't really been focusing on upstairs. I'm just finishing up my office now. I will be doing, of course, a updated decorated house tour, but it's it's Friday now. And this evening I'm hanging out with my friends and I just wanna like chill. And like, I have not stopped moving at all this week at all. Uh, so I really wanna just enjoy tonight and then this weekend I'm going to a bridal shower and just kind of relax a little bit and I'll pick the vlog back up on Monday. So um, I think I got a decent amount of footage this week. I feel like there was so much going on. Um, I also went to California Closets before this um, to, cause I want to make that walk-in closet space just like really awesome. And so like a really good organized closet. So I'll insert a little clip of the 3D model that she made here. There it is. Peekaboo. So cool. I love it. So I'm super, super stoked about that. Um, oh my God, I can't wait to show you guys the house like decorated. It's just, it's coming along really well. My family has helped so much. I'm just, just like, this still, I don't know. This house just feels like home. It's really weird how quickly it just felt like home. So I'm gonna keep working 
on getting everything unpacked and then relax this weekend a little bit. And um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I love you. Thank you for all the love and support. Like you guys are making my heart explode and I'm so thankful for you guys and all that good energy. And I'm sending it back to you. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.